Welcome to Bellbrook, a historic town nestled right here in Greene County. But before we tour this tiny town, I'm feeling a little hungry, so let's head to the one spot Bellbrook residents say you have to visit. Blueberry Cafe. This small blueberry cafe opened its doors in 2004. Owner and operator Kelly Andary told us how she partnered up with her uncle to make it happen. We always say that you'll eat good, do good, you'll feel good when you leave here. Boy, was she right. French toast, we have huge pancakes. Waffles are excellent, we make our omelets to order. So many choices, but I had to go with the French toast. Yum. <laughs> now that my belly's full, it's time to take in some history. War of 1812 was just over. With Bellbrook Historical Museum trustee and volunteer Peter Wickstead. Back in 1815, John Quincy Adams was the president. Napoleon had lost at Waterloo and Stephen Bell laid out the plots for Bellbrook. The city of Bellbrook is named for one of its founders, Stephen Bell, who helped form what is now called Old Village. And the Bellbrook Historical Museum is a part of that. The museum is on plot number 58. We have records that show that it sold in 1825 for $120. Once inside the museum, the history is on the walls. Behind you, that wall is actually a part of the original cabin itself, correct? Exactly. Wickstead says there's something here for everyone, whether you're young. But kids being kids, the thing that gets them the most is they are grossed out by the chamber pot. Or young at heart. We have a room off to the side where we have rotating exhibits. Or a biker. The Harley Owners Group, Hogs, they have a 50 site ride challenge. They select 50 sites throughout the state where they have to ride to, they get a picture in front of it, and they win prizes based on how many you go to. After snapping a quick selfie, I walked across the street to Bellbrook Park. I soon learned it has its own interesting history. They said when you drink the water, it would give you a little tingling sensation. Kendra Scheid works for the Bellbrook Sugar Creek Park District as the chief naturalist. She says in the late 1800s, there was a church located at this site and it was being remodeled. After maintenance workers left some tools soaking in the cellar water overnight, she says they found them the next morning magnetized. At the time, people believed that those magnetic properties would heal you, and so people would start drinking the water. And... Well, we can't come to the magic springs without taking a sip of the magic magnetic water. <sighs> I feel spectacular. There is, of course, more here to see than the spring water. From the sugar shack to the blacksmith's shop, this quaint park is quite peaceful. We have our Christmas in the park here, which makes it a little magical. If you're looking for something more active, you can check out any of the 15 parks in the district, from the smaller city parks to the bigger community parks with athletic fields and playgrounds. And then we also have the, the big nature parks. There's also Morris Reserve and Sweet Arrow Reserve. They cover more than 450 acres of land. We saw some of the beautiful walking trails through the prairies and along the river. I really enjoyed my time here in Bellbrook and I'm sure you would too. So the next time you're looking to taste, learn, or see something new, take a trip to Bellbrook and see for yourself why they're called small town friendly. I'm Chief Meteorologist McCall Vrydags, News Center 7.